Time for lunch. Uh, ooh. 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 So you say you want to get with Polly, oh, right? Oh, you shithead. <laughs> oh. You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual. You know, because they're undead. You know, the food, co the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's hardly even worthy of my Instagram. <laughs> what? I don't even eat the food. See, this is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean the two of us should have a cook-off. What? No! Did you say something? I'm not listening because I'm so psyched about this cook-off. At no point did I agree to... I've got a huge advantage, though, because I've cooked so many drugs. Oh, you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all the rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. The two celebrity chefs' judges appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cool British judge. Oh. I think they're both equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. <laughs> both judges turn to you. What do you think, tie-breaker judge? Whose meal truly is the cat's pajamas? Oh, dude, the obvious choice, you're gonna take Liam's. Yeah. Uh, but I'll just read them uh, for kicks anyway. Uh, Liam's, because I think that glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled on top. Polly's, because she literally just made a pair of pajamas for a cat. So, yeah. Nice. Huh. In your face, Wolfgang Suck! That would be a better name for Scott. I'm not even a wolf. As a matter of fact, that would be a better name for you. She looks pissed right here. Oh, what? Because I'm a vampire? <laughs> Whoa, that would totally make sense. Nah, I just meant because you suck. Well, this sucker just wowed the judges with my blood tarte. It's raw, organic, free-range blood, unethically sourced from a local terrified human. And that parsley, farm to table. Or rather, farm to blood. I threw it in the blood. I like the color. Actually, it's well known that nobody knows what parsley tastes like. Word. And you probably never will, because you are certainly not drinking any of that conco uh, conco concoction. concoction. You tell Liam his prize for winning the cook-off is eating lunch alone with you. Slip, slip. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, you could either sit with the students, go to the shop, or talk to Coach. Yeah, I was going to say, stuff, I'm, I'm get some stats. Yeah, I was going to kick it with the lion guy. Like, that looked pretty cool. Oh, so you want to go hang out with Coach for lunch? Yeah. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. <laughs> okay. Um, see, I'm trying to think of what voice I should give this guy. Like, I'm, like, I could say Tony the Tiger. Hey, voice. There. Yeah, yeah, I do Tony the Tiger. He's, he's Tony With, the Tiger. Like that, him. or maybe a different voice. It's like, hey there, bud. What you drinking? I like that. What? Milk. That's it? That's hardly a drink at all. Everybody knows a drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And it what would we eat? <laughs> and yes, they're great. <laughs> and what would be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. But enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? Uh, so both or whiskey? I'll go whiskey. Yeah, you want whiskey? Yep, do the whiskey. Hmm, I don't remember offering you any whiskey, but you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Oh, well, guess I've just got to go out and buy you a case of whiskey. Excellente. Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. When all of your classmates realize they can get Coach to buy them booze just by asking, you become the coolest kid in school. You gain plus four fun. Mm-hmm. All right, let's trade places. Uh, everybody chooses a brand. Brand? Levi. Uh, like, uh, Levi jeans. Okay, Levi jeans. Mm -hmm. Um... I will say the... What was it? Oh, wait, no. You know what? I'm gonna go for, uh, uh, Nike. Cool. Like Nike shoes, because that's what I'm wearing right now. I do dig Nikes. I know, kind of, a, kind of a lazy idea, just at, you know, at a time like this, but... 
Player orders decided based on how intriguing it would be if the selected brand decided to produce their own TV show. I'm guaranteeing Nike already has. Levi has not. I don't think Levi's produced their own TV show. Like, think about it. It's like they're making a TV show all about jeans. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, hey, look. Hey, nice jeans. Nice jeans. Oh, nice jeans. Oh, nice jeans. Oh, your jeans suck. Well, I mean, oh, like, they're so Levi's. Oh, they're good then. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, like, like you got, like, some pants that are just kind of, like, uh, baggy. Mm-hmm. You got some skin-tight jeans yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, that's my... That's my that's my take on on how intriguing it would be if they made jeans. Yeah, but then like the Nike would be. Well, Nike does. Nike produces all kinds of TV shows. Oh, really? They've oh, already yeah. made TV shows. Oh yeah, I'm I'm positive they have. Like they like they. I guarantee Nike's produced TV shows. Well, just I mean, like like based on like their first like big athletes. I mean you I mean you've got Michael Jordan, you got LeBron James. I mean LeBron James when he came out of high school, he, they gave him ninety million dollars when he was eighteen. Right. Right. So, like, I guarantee they do. But they've done a TV show. I can't. Uh, I can't think of but, one. So, like, I don't know. Well, I mean, if they've already done TV shows, then it wouldn't be really that intriguing. So, I I will give the first turn to you. Thank you, sir. On the next one. Hooray! All right, week two. We're pretty much halfway through. I'm going to do my best to get you late here, Tim. <laughs> I got you. Okay, where do you want to go? Uh, let's see. So I'm really fun. Yeah, you're really fun. Really smart. You're really creative, but not bold or charming. I need to get bolder. Well, oh, so you want... I mean, you could go to a different place if you want to. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, where would I go for charm? That's a gym. I already went there. Let's go to the out, uh, outdoors. Or wait, 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 what's that? Oh, auditorium. Let's go there. Okay, so this is creativity if you want to go there. Where would I increase my fun, though? Uh, that would be the outdoors. Let's do outdoors. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're talking to Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't be as fun as Bob the Scary Clown. You hey, accept Bob you, the Scary Clown, you can eat a dick. I'm way cooler than you. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Delicious. Really? Do you think that's how this works? Well, it is. You gain plus two fun from poor Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Bob. Bob was delicious. Looking around, you see, looking around, you see Damien and Liam arguing about whether black or metal, no, wait, whether black metal is better than death metal. Suddenly, Damien stops arguing and sniffs the air. Shut! Up. Oh wait, oh I got both of these guys. Yeah. Shut up! Do you smell that? Yeah, it smells like Christian Dwar and plot armor. Oh fuck. <laughs> I got you. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the, the <coughs> Slayer who like tries to kill the monsters. Okay, there it goes. <coughs> yeah, so this is a girl. You ready to hear my girl voice? Okay, go. It's me, dickhead, and I'm riding up crucifixes in holy water for the whole fucking class. I threw that in there. You're welcome. Oh, lucky me. I've been mean to finish my take-home final for AP murder. Go ahead, just try to kill me. I'm the protagonist, bitch. <laughs> She is right, unfortunately. This is well-trod territory. We are, as they say, pretty fucked. Screw that! You've got a way to say sa- you've got a way to save Damon and Liam without killing anybody. All you have to do is uh, bring everyone to tears with a mind-shattering guitar solo, or throw a brick at her head. I'm gonna throw a brick. I'm gonna <laughs> throw a brick at her head. Oh yeah. Well, that that's kind of. Bold, and you are not very bold. Yeah, let's bring everyone to tears with the mind shattering guitar solo. Which you are very creative. Yeah, let's do this. So creative. You pull a guitar out of your ass and start oh! shooting. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be painful to I pull th- a guitar I, I, out of your I, I ass. I think so. I think I think things were stretched. The faces of those standing near to you are melted all the way off. Luckily, none of those people are important to this game. The the polyharmonics are truly astonishing. I would buy this on limited edition vinyl. This is metal as shit. It's like if Mechagodzilla fucked a volcano full of Vikings. Delicious. And the volcano had a baby, and then they fed the baby to a fucking snake. What? You mean I'm not the most awesome thing in the scene anymore? Forget this. I am out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Joke's on her. She was never the most awesome thing in the sea. Fuck you. <laughs> News of your insane guitar skills spread thro throughout the school. You gain plus two charm and plus one fun. Wow. Okay. Um, this is getting out of control. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm fun. Uh, yeah, I'm fun. I'm charming. To me, get some money. We. Let's get it. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How come the ghost chick always keeps showing up for you, but not for me? How come Polly keeps showing up for you? That's bullcrap, man. What? I no, keep getting no, Liam like... in my areas. What? No, I, I get. Hmm. Actually, yeah. I wonder uh, why. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. I don't even. I, like I, him. I don't know. How do you even like him like that, Tanner? Well, I mean, I'll I'll keep an eye on Liam or get you dilemma. <laughs> Get your name. Uh, okay, so you know what? I'm I'm gonna go to class. Oh wow! Get some smarts. It's like the first time we've like in this game that anyone's gone to class yeah. and we're at school. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Nice. You feel your phone buzz in your pocket. Looks like Scott Miranda's Lemonade Star Kicker is alive. Oh, we're still going with this. Nice. You know this because Scott tweeted the word lemon 18 times in a row with no further information. Oh. As you run the corner, you see Scott and Miranda huddled over Miranda's diamond-encrusted waterproof Murpho. What? Um, I think they say 12 people have barked, have barked the campaign so far. Why would they bark at a ki Star Kicker campaign? Unless it was getting too close to them in the park. Scott, it says 12 people have backed the campaign. That means they want to bring our creative project to life. In other words, they give us money for lemonade. All right, I mean, I knew that. I definitely knew how to read. I just uh, forgot for a second. Anyway, yeah, 12 barkers. I mean, backers. Uh, only 12 people? That's impossible. We need at least 4,000 more mindless peasants. I mean, backers. To meet our funding goal. Ah, uh, tweet lemon again. It's gotta work this time. Ah, oh dear. Your friends are terrible at inter interneting. You wonder over just as Scott is struggling to read through some of the comments on their lemonade campaign. Mm. Um, I can see that. Somebody put letters on the page, Miranda. You read it. <clears throat> Somebody said, Whoa! Hype for this lemonade thing! It blends my two favorite genres lemons and beverages. This person commented, can I order two lemons if I double my pledge to $300? And can I order extras of the lemonade body pillow? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to see lemonade when it's released. Any chance we can get lemonade on the Switch? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. I, I, I'd be down with that. Hey, hey, nice. Get the lemonade. See? These comments prove it. We have the most regal, classiest... Sourest liquid ever. I just don't understand why we don't have more backers already. I mean, lemonade is the best liquid ever. It's even better than water, and I need water to live. You take pity on your dumb monster friends and pledge $69. He may nice, say that LOL. To face. <laughs> <laughs> nice, lol. To their lemonade star kicker campaign. You'll you'll get the social capital now and cancel your pledge later because you're fucking mean and smart. Nice. Whoa, Oz, made the number go up. That's so rad, bro. How'd you do that? <laughs> he can't. You must be some kind of internet witch. Well then, help us fund our stick carker campaign, witch. Luckily, you majored in crowdfunding at Hot Witches University. Help your friends become a viral sensation so they can make a sour citrus drink and also tons of cash. Um, convince an internet celebrity to voice the lemonade Whatever that means. <laughs> Make the lemonade the center of the latest internet controversy. Oh. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Okay, alright. Make the lemonade the center Look of the day. latest... <laughs> what? I'm gonna get l laid by a lemonade? <laughs> okay, um, make the lemonade the center of the latest internet controversy. So I think... I think that's bold. <laughs> Cool. I think that's bold. And then convince an internet celebrity to voice the lemonade. That would be smart. So or boldness. Well, actually, let's see. That Con would be charm. 
convince an internet celebrity to voice a lemonade stand. It's like, is or a lemonade yellow a lemonade. or blue? Um, or gold or blue or whatever that thing was with that dress. Okay, okay. The, the second one would seem kind of bold. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the top one, convince an internet celebrity to voice a lemonade. Uh, let's see, to convince. I think I'd have to be charming, which I'm pretty decent at. Mm-hmm. It might be fun. Uh, but, I mean, adding a voice on top of the lemonade, that's got to be creative, oh, yeah. right? And I'm like very it. creative right now. Sweet. So, please let this be a good answer. Oh, so charming. Oh, hey, good. Okay, I'll take it. That's a perfect plan. Of course, I'm a celebrity, but there's no way we could afford my appearance fees. Plus, I only get ex- accept payment in the form of precious blood jewels. Oh, day, Miranda. Well, we can't have you voice the lemon. It's a good thing I know, like, the biggest celebrity ever. Really, Scott? That sounds super perfect. Oh, bro. Totally, bro. They're like, they're like the coolest ever, and everybody is obsessed with them. They're super pretty and, like, mysterious. We just have to wait until nighttime, and then they'll be right here. You, Scott, and Miranda sit around until nightfall, talking about your tragic backstories, how far you've come, and generally forming impactful, lifelong friendships with each other. Suddenly, Scott points to the night, uh, points to the sky with one of his extremely hairy fingers. Oh look, there's a celebrity. They're here, bro. Who? Where? What? I don't see anyone. You realize that Scott is pointing to the moon. Oh my god, Scott thinks the moon is a celebrity? <laughs> He's not totally wrong? Oh my god. Scott howls at the moon for about an hour. It works! The moon agrees to voice the lemonade for your Star Kicker campaign. The moon can't make any sounds, and the lemonade doesn't have any lines, but it doesn't fucking matter because Scott is right. Everyone is obsessed with the moon. You gain a bunch of new Star Kicker backers, along with plus two fun and plus one smarts. Nice. <laughs> All right, it's going great. Uh, that weekend. Oh, something ooh. happens too. It's probably gonna be you. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's me. It. Oh, it's gonna be lemony. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get you laid, bro. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll just we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. On Saturday night, you are at a cool pizza place that cooks pizza in a real pizza oven. Little did you expect that when the chef opens the oven to get your pizza, Damien appears from the flames. How does that work? Can he teleport through fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make a kick-ass entrance? Ah, the mystery. Uh, okay, so normally I thought Polly would show up for you. Well, I mean, you did get points with Damien uh, at the end of the pop quiz. Yeah. Oh, my dude. I fucking hate needing people's help, but I might need yours. Don't let me get to your head or I'll stab you so I don't have to owe you anything. <sighs> Enough threats. Here's the deal, fuckhead. I love that. I might or might not feel attracted by your buddy Blue. You know, I'm always making absurd choices, being equal parts stupidly sexy and sexily stupid. And with that nice and with the nice booty. Thanks, dude. But I don't want to get my feelings hurt by rushing into love without proper judgment. Hey, sabotage it. Sabotage my dad's it. always my dad's always say, if you love someone, shoot them and see what happens. Great fatherly advice, right? Hey dude, I like don't wanna die. <laughs> Thing is, Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seem to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not very legal. They have strongly recommended that I do all that on what they call a theoretical level. Like imagining the whole thing. But imagining is for losers. And since you both know Blue and... And since you both know Blue and are a loser yourself, I thought you could tell me. What would Blue do if I were to shoot her? Uh, Blue is all about getting shot. She goes to the doctor every day just to get a shot. And shots are the only thing she does when partying. So I think you can give her a shot, or believe it or not, if you were to shoot Blue, she would not be into it. Hashtag true story. Hey, screw this one over, man. I don't want to deal with this guy. Are you sure? I'm going for Polly, bro. I'm going all in. Yeah, but it is my call. Oh, it is. Yes. Of course it is. Well, you can have him come after me. I'll just, like, reject his ass. Hmm. I only go with guys with two horns. Sorry, bro. Hmm. Your one on the right is busted, and uh, I don't see that going back anytime soon. Hmm. You know, I guess uh, maybe I'll make it into a certain love triangle. 
Uh, you go after Polly, but uh, Damien's gonna come after you, so I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. I'm fine. Plus, like, I'm also gonna help you out, maybe. Alright. Whoa! That's convenient! I have the feeling dating me could increase someone's chances of getting shot or stabbed. You don't get to be as big an asshole as me without making some enemies along the way. I would feel bad if my loved one was to get shot because of me, but knowing Blue is so into getting shot is a relief. I fucking hate guilt. Okay, it seems like my heart isn't being drunk, being a drunk idiot this time. I might be onto something nice. Who nice. knows? <clears throat> she is so into getting shot. I might add some spice into my foreplay, if you know what I mean. As long as you and Polly are there, I'm good, bro. I, I mean shooting Blue <laughs> before having sex with her, just to be clear. Wowie! You are welcome, Blue. Both for getting you some demon dick and for some blood loss you're about to experience. You had too much blood anyway. You get plus three charm for being such a good friend. I, I get three? I get three. Aww. Well, that's awful nice of you. So I'm... Chicken nuggets. Oh, everybody chooses a food. <laughs> sorry, I saw, I saw that. I'm like, mm. I'm gonna choose a food. I'm like, chicken nuggets right off the bat. Mm, sorry, I was looking at my stats. Like, I am very smart, charming, fun, and creative, just not bold. Let's see. And I'm poor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, 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 food. Food. You said chicken uh, nuggets. Uh, do I have to keep it? Um, Before clicking. I, oh, before clicking. Okay. I, 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 uh, I, I would say, before we click... I would say you can change. I would say Juarez Mexico style chicken. What's that? It's only the best chicken in the world. There's a special stand in Juarez Mexico that mm -hmm. makes chicken that is literally the best chicken I've ever eaten in my entire life. Beats KFC, beats Church's chi chicken, beats Popeyes, everything. Juarez style Mexico. Okay. Me Me Juarez Mexico style chicken. All right. It I'm might not be chicken. But they say it's chicken, so I will eat it. <laughs> okay. I literally think part of it's dog. But I, I will good. say... It's delicious. <laughs> oh, wait. So does this have to be just like one food, or could this be like a, uh, a food that could be part of a meal or something? Oh, I would say a meal. Why not? Okay. Beautiful. I will say, uh, you know, like the... What was it called? The something... Uh, Monte Cristo sandwich with Ooh. the pumice frites from that uh, New Orleans cafe in Disneyland. Sweet, I dig it. We got some good locations. Or, or at least, here. if not a meal, then the pumice frites. Yep, I sure. Like <coughs> the, the, they're like French fries, but with like some kind of garlic on it. But they're French. Okay. <laughs> Player order is decided based on how unappealing a pizza would be with the chosen food as its topping. Legitimately, both of them would taste great. Yeah, they would. Like I've, had, I've, eat, I've eaten both. I say do random. Because on this one, yeah, my chicken yeah. would taste great on a pizza. The pumice frites the on would pizza? be fantastic on pizza. Uh, a French fry pizza. Yeah, it'd be awesome, especially I'm, I'm... with like the cilantro and, or like the the type of uh, season that's on. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. And then that sauce that you get with it. Ooh. Ooh. See, yeah. Well, wait. Actually, no, I don't use. No, wait. The sauce was the. Um... It's kind of like pink sauce. It's got like a little bit of tang to it. It's like, like in a little. Was, was it cranberry sauce? No, no, that's for the Monte Cristo sandwich. Oh. In that case... And a Monte Cristo sandwich would be kick-ass on a pizza. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't eat, like, the pink sauce with oh, the fries. I got you. But the, the cranberry sauce with the Monte Cristo sandwiches, that's Wonderful. good. So do, do random. Right? Yeah, okay. It's a 50-50 Okay, random. All right, so you go first. Sweet. All right. 